My name is Mats Falk. Hi. I broke the world record for solving a Rubik's Cube with a time of 5.55 seconds in March 2013 and came second at the Rubik's World Championships twice in 2013 and 2015. We have almost finished solving the Rubik's Cube. All we have left is permuting the edges and the corners of the last layer. First, we will permute the corners. By moving the upper layer, it's always possible to put two corners in their correct places. If those two corners are adjacent, hold them on the left side and the unsolved corners on the right side. Now we turn both the left and the right side anti-clockwise and turn the upper side twice. Now do the sexy move, match these two on the left and move them in. Match these two on the right and move those in. Now we've swapped two corners. If the two remaining corners are opposite of each other, we just swap any two adjacent corners as in the previous example. This won't permute all the corners, but this will leave us with two adjacent corners to be swapped. And we know how to solve that. All we have left to do now is to permute the edges. On a Rubik's Cube, it's never possible to only swap two edges. It will always be either a 3 cycle or two 2 cycles. If we have a 3 cycle left, we hold the cube in such a way the solved edge is in front. To solve this, we do the sexy move on right, the sexy move on left, and now comes the tricky part again, the inverse of the sexy move on the right, and the inverse of the sexy move on the left. If you are left with another 3 cycle after performing the last algorithm, do the algorithm again and it should be solved now. If we have two 2 cycles, we perform a 3 cycle from any way we like. This won't permute all the edges. But this will leave us with another 3 cycle and we know how to solve that. Goodbye. I hope you were able to follow along. My name is Mats Vogt.